Hi folks, Noah Hallett here, and I'm actively learning how to build websites using WordPress and using the Avada theme builder. And I just hit a really sticky issue that was giving me a lot of trouble, and I was not able to find help for this anywhere online, so I went ahead and, uh, well, I'm going ahead and wanted to record a quick video on how to fix this. So, uh, the issue that's happening is on my website, I was building out the website, and I had a different header on mobile versus on web. So if you get this, let's see if I can shrink this down. There we go. So notice that the header turns to black, and I've turned it so that my header doesn't actually display anymore. But this header here, this menu right here, was different, and actually still is different, <laughs> um, is different than my main menu. And you can see all those archive options in there. It's clearly not what it's supposed to be. Now if I refresh this, it should be correct. Perfect, and that's because I actually did fix it. So I'm gonna show you just real quick how I fixed that. We're going back here. And there are a lot of options about Avada, a lot of conversations about Avada's global options, but the issue I kept running into is I would go to my um, Avada, and then of course go to Options, which is where you would expect to be able to edit your header. Now, if you're using the global header override and you go to your header, it's gonna tell you this that you can't actually edit the header in these ways. And uh, if you do go to headers, or excuse me, menu, um, there should be the option to actually edit the mobile menu by itself individually. That is not there if you have the global options enabled. So a lot of guides will tell you, just go here and edit the menu. Uh, and that was very frustrating. But, so how you fix that? And the, the reason it's hard to find is that the reason that's an issue is just this silly little thing. So you wanna go to appearance, and then you want to go to menus, and this is where you can actually go directly to edit your menus. And then you want to look at your main menu, the one that you're using to go ahead and actually use your main website navigation, your main one. And you want to go down and make sure that this box here is checked. If that's not checked, the mobile version is just going to fill in some random menu, and usually the original menu if you're working on an existing site. Um, and if you check that, just immediately it fixes it. So it just uses the usual menu you're using, pops it correctly on that mobile bar. Uh, and that took me a long time to figure out, and I'm really proud to have that figured out, and that made a big difference. So, uh, hopefully this is helpful to someone. I will keep the recording just quick tips as I discover more things and how to solve some of the issues I'm coming across learning how to use WordPress and Avada. Uh, if you do have anything thorny that you're struggling with, drop me a like, a subscribe, drop me a comment, let me know what else you can use help finding. Thank you very much, and I hope this was helpful.